So Google is doing a major shakeup with the Pixel 9 lineup this year. Instead of just two models, they're dropping three. The new one is the Pixel 9 Pro XL, which basically just has a bigger screen size than the Pixel 9 Pro. But forget about that for a second. Today, let's talk about a feature on the Pixel 9 that seems like Google might have one up Samsung on. Samsung was all geared up to launch satellite connectivity with the S24 Ultra, and they even tweaked the software for it. But then they pulled the plug last minute for some reason. Now it seems the Pixel 9 Pro is stepping up as the first mainstream Android phone to get this feature. They've got a sneak peek at what it will look like and how it's gonna work on Pixel phones, so let's dive in. So just like the iPhones, you gotta point your phone at a satellite using the on-screen interface to aim. It start off taking up the whole screen, but you can minimize it to check out other apps. The trick is to keep that satellite icon inside the circle to get a good signal. First thing first, head outside where you can see the sky clearly. Buildings, mountains, and even trees can mess up with your signal. The app will ask you a few questions to help emergency services figure out what's up and how they can help. So it looks like this satellite feature, just like Apple's, is only for real emergencies. Unlike Qualcomm's version, there's no two-way chat, which is a bit disappointing. But hey, Qualcomm dished their satellite thing because no one was really using it, so there you go. And hey, just a heads up, you'll need your carrier's backing to use this feature on the Pixel 9. Initially, it will be provided by T-Mobile, but hopefully other carriers will hop on board down the line. Next, the Pixel 9 Pro and Pro XL will also come with a new feature called Adaptive Touch. It will adjust touchscreen sensitivity based on what you're doing and where you are. Think rain-friendly or game-ready touchscreens sounds like Google's answer to OnePlus Aqua Touch. Now, here's some breaking news. That's just then, Google's not just dropping three Pixel 9 versions this year, they're adding a fourth one, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Yep, they're switching it up from Pixel Fold 2 to Pixel 9 Pro Fold. This is pretty big news. Why? Well, it means the Pixel 9 Pro Fold will be a full-on 2024 flagship, packing all the latest goodies just like the Pixel 9 Pro XL, rather than feeling like a latecomer based on last year's model. The Pixel Fold kind of felt like a spin-off to the Pixel 7, you know? And fun fact, this move would make Google the only brand integrating its foldables into the main lineup. So are they dropping all four of these at once? Looks like it. Keep an eye out this October. Speaking of foldables, Samsung Z Fold 6 is actually way better than initially expected. Click here to know more and I'll see you there.